Well, if you're watching us right now, chances are you live in the Baltimore region, and even if you try and stay informed, it can be hard to know exactly what's going on in even the next neighborhood. That's true. A new startup is hoping to solve that problem. It is launching an all local, all digital, nonprofit newspaper. It will be called The Banner, and they're hiring. We want to carry the banner of Baltimore's great tradition of journalism uh, forward in, into the future. And Stuart Bainham means it. He has pledged $50 million to get the banner up and online. This hotel magnate served in the General Assembly from 1979 to 1987. At that point in time, there were six <laughs> daily, robust, vibrant newspapers in the state. But not anymore. Stewart and the late Ted Venetoulas were determined to fill that news vacuum, creating the Venetoulas Institute. First, they made an unsuccessful bid to buy the Baltimore Sun Papers. And when Venetoulas died suddenly last month, Bainham became more determined than ever to serve the city by creating a nonprofit, hard hitting, local, online news site. How can communities? govern themselves when they don't know what's going on. How can people govern themselves when they don't know what the hell's going on? It's a great city. There's so many stories we're going to be able to tell. Coming from the Washington Post, MTS Patel is one of 10 staff already working on the banner's launch. We did some research and what we found is that what people are missing is really good quality local news. There's so many different neighborhoods, there's so many different stories, there's so many different communities. Baltimore really is small to all. <laughs> At a time when most news operations are shrinking, newspapers folding, the banner is hiring up to 50 reporters to fill what Stuart Bainham sees as a real need. National and international news is being funded. Local news isn't. We want to address that problem starting right here in Baltimore. So the launch is set for next spring. And for information on hiring, donating, or learning more about the banner, go to venetulisinstitute.org. But we also have a link on our website, wjz.com.